I am going to discuss about how to import SQL file inside DeepWeaver. So first here, I am going to show you the file that I am going to import inside the DeepWeaver. So here, this is the raw data and it's called Conva. This file that's going to import inside there. So there is some small queries there. Okay. So let's uh, close this one. Thereafter, let's open db dbweaver so currently using community person so first thing is here i already have the connection the name is ors here and here is schema let's use hr and if I go on this file, here you can see import data, click this. Then you can input files, this place, you can select. So here, CSP by default, let's select a store. And if I use here, escort com, click on open. Then this location is there, let's click on next. So you can see there is so uh, source, target, create or this kind of things that's come there but query option or here you can only import SQL data this places not the query so here let's close this one so next is let's go on this here you need to go SQL editor open SQL editor then after in this editor I'm going to import that all the contents of SQL. So right click there, then you need to go on this file. Here, you need to click on this import SQL script. So there, here, this is text row rotate down, select your files. Let's uh, select here, as called con1. So this is uh, successfully imported there. So in this, uh, table here you can see or uh, there is uh, here you cannot see dpt is there let's uh, select new underscore dpt new underscore dpt now let's execute this query this is selected so here you can see on this new dpt the content that's displaying there now there after here i'm going to run this query here emp is there you can see emp is also there so if i run this query so there is a problem with this query so let's remove this unnecessary given integer value and now if I run this so this time getting expected values here according to given query this is returning the expected output so thereafter this all query here you can see there is the employees table and we can run this query so here you can see this is the data that's displayed there. So this is how we can import SQL file to dweaver. Okay. And after that, whatever the contents inside the files that you can run inside the dweaver. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.